20 minutes ago, an energy surge knocked out power across the entire Pacific Northwest. This could be a prelude to a larger attack. I'm suggesting we scramble the 5th and 6th Regiment. No, 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 no. This needs a much more sophisticated mind. You're not suggesting who I think you're suggesting. We have no choice. I knew when I got the call to do this movie that Sonic was a game. <laughs> Listen, uh, Mr. Dr. Robotnik, but my dentist calls me Rob. Mm. He's a wonderful character to play. He's a madman with a triple digit IQ. Mm, mm, mm. So it took me a week and a half to prepare. <laughs> I'm going to give you five seconds to tell me where it is. Wait, don't hurt him. <laughs> I just dealt with him as an ego out of control, as somebody who believes themselves completely separate from the rest of the world. And so he must conquer those who betrayed him. He hates the world because the world abandoned him. You just sit there and be you. <laughs> Less. Jim Carrey is a legend. The idea that I was going to get to work with him after idolizing him for so many years was incredible. I know you're supposed to say in these things that working with this person is like a dream and that's your, your hero. And maybe someday you'll achieve your goal. He really is one of the actors that I looked up to the most. Working with Jim Carrey was pretty sweet. I was quoting him every day. Somebody stop me! Is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. Until Jim Carrey made somebody stop me. Once Jim Carrey came on, it was just such a fantastic experience, kind of having conversations with him about what he should sound like, how he should move, what he should look like. The costume was incredible. The look was incredible. The mustache was ridiculous. You need time off to get drunk and put the boat in the water. I lost the mustache. You get in the gizmos and the gadgets and stuff and fly around in that ship. I really liked it. Are you in charge here? Yes, I nope. am. Wrong. I'm in charge. It's fun to see him have fun. It's fun to see him dive into something and just let loose. I'm just having so much fun, honest to God. It's it's a great, fun part to do. Enjoying a clam chowder. OK, that was weird. Sometimes you got to stop and smell the port. Smell the portal. 20 minutes ago, I tracked a Sour, a sour Patch kid. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what that means. I grew up on Jim Carrey. Everybody knows Jim Carrey. Does she have a name, or shall we just call her collateral damage? <laughs> the fact that he would collaborate with us, it was probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my career. Well, we do improv. I'm a big proponent of working it and working it and working it and coming in with 20 ideas and the director will go just throw them out, see what happens. It is a joy to be on the receiving end of all of Jim's antics. Who the hell do you think you are? And let madness reign. To be looking at him in the eye when he's shouting at you. <laughs> hey! Hey, that was good. They were a great, great bunch. Wonderful, creative group of people. The more fun you generate on that set, the more fun comes through the camera. To me, a movie like this is silly fun. <laughs> Call Optical Illusions. Tell them I need new frames. They know what kind I like. I can't believe that Jim Carrey is here performing this character for our movie. It's vintage Jim Carrey, and it's such a joy to watch. OK, I'm satisfied. He gave it his all. I think it's one of his best performances. I really think he embodies what fans of Robotnik would expect. Now you've done it! Guess what, Eggman? I'm not leaving Earth. You are! He's the Eggman. I think it's pretty perfect for me.